This video might be a bit of a controversial one, but it's a question I get asked all the time. So I want to go over what you should do or what you can do if your parents or anyone else is seemingly against you playing football or growing in the sport. That's coming up next. Hey guys, it's Dave here from Simply Soccer, where we are releasing football vids all the time to help you improve your game and stand out on the pitch. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you don't miss any of the new videos that we release. Now in this one, like I already mentioned, I want to go over what you can do if it seems that your parents are against you playing football or anyone else is against you playing football and you think they're preventing you from growing as a player or playing it as much as you want. Whew. Okay, so this is a very interesting topic. Um, because I understand that if your parents don't want you to play, um, I can understand that if they think you should be focusing on other things, this can be a very difficult thing because ultimately when you're younger, um, you know, you're at your parents' house, you're under your parents' you know, tutelage in a way because they're raising you. And so yes, some of the decisions are not gonna be up to you at that point. That being said, let's talk about some things you can do, some things that are in your control, and let's also go over if maybe there are more things in your control than you think, um, and not to really victimize yourself in certain situations. First and foremost is take a step back and understand, is this really what's going on? A lot of times we try to think that there are people outside of us that aren't us that are preventing us from doing something. But if your parent is saying, well, I can't do that because I can't take you there or something, or I can't do that because I don't have the money to pay for it, then that's not necessarily them trying to prevent you from doing anything. Because those are things actually that might be more in control for you than you think. For example, if your parent can't take you somewhere, can't take you to your matches or practices, is there a way that you can get there? Is there, can you take the bus, public transportation? Is there a teammate who can carpool with you? Um, situations like that are actually within your control. Money, some club teams cost money, sometimes a lot of money. And yes, sometimes you're not gonna be able to raise the money for that. But can you get creative and actually find ways to earn money on your own? You know, I don't know what age you're at, you who is watching this, but maybe if you're a little bit older, you can get a job to pay for your team. Um, really what I'm saying is make sure you've exhausted all options before you go to the one thing that says, ah, I'm just gonna blame my parents because they're not supporting me in the way I think they should. Now there are situations like that where a parent might really be stifling you and might really not be supporting your growth as a player or even supporting you all in that endeavor that you love. But in a lot of cases, I find that it might just be you've come to that conclusion a bit prematurely. Second thing is if you are in a situation like that, you have to just do what you can. If you truly love football, you do what you can with what you have. And then when other opportunities come along, you take it. So let's say for example, um, your parents won't put you on a team or they refuse to allow you to play for a team. Well, if you can get out and do some individual training or play with friends or something like that, you go do that and do the best you can doing that. And when maybe an opportunity opens up, maybe your parent changes their mind. Maybe you, know, you just turn 18 and you're able to leave the house and you can go on a team and do what you want. Um, the point is, you know, really stop focusing on the things you cannot control and start focusing on the things that you can. Ultimately, you are your own person. And yes, I don't agree that anyone should stifle someone else in doing what they want to do. And I understand it from a parent's perspective because most parents, if they're preventing you from doing something, they have the be their, um, your best interests at heart, normally thinking that maybe if it's they want you to focus more on your education or something like that. And I know that's not very um, comforting because, you know, you still want to do the thing that you want to do and that can suck if you have someone controlling what you want to do but also understand where they are coming from again that being said just take control of what you can control if you're in that situation and who knows you might even get into a place where you convince your parents that oh my god he really loves doing this he's good at this he's putting a lot of work into this maybe i will let him sign up for a team maybe i will let him go out for the school team maybe i will support him more in this endeavor maybe you need to prove to your parent or whoever you think is preventing you from doing something that you're worth it that it's worth supporting you in this endeavor all right guys so those are my thoughts on this topic because i get a lot of players who tell me my parents don't let me play my parents won't sign me up for this team whatever it is and i guarantee that a lot of those cases it's not the case but maybe their parent can't take them there or there's something else that the kid could actually do 
um, but isn't really exhausting all options. Um, but I do understand there are some cases where, yes, the um, parents are preventing their kids from playing. And again, I want to be sensitive to this because nothing is black and white. Um, there's always reasons behind things. Nothing is, is what they seem. And I'm sure there is much more that goes into it than um, just the parents are being, you know, miserable and, and just want to stop their son or daughter from having fun. That's usually never the case. Um, but I just want you to be kind of open to this. I want you to be able to take control of things you can control and to stop getting so stressed and worried about the things you cannot. And yes, it can get frustrating, but if you focus on those things um, and you focus on what you can actually do, you never know what's going to open up for you in the future, even if it's frustrating right now. All right, guys, so I know it's a little bit of a different video, but so many people have been asking me about this. And, you know, again, the fact of the matter is you cannot just fully convince someone of something sometimes, but you can do everything that's within your control. And that's what I'm encouraging you to do here. You know, don't leave any stone unturned. Exhaust all of your options before you start blaming other people. And if you do that, you know, you're gonna go further. I promise you. Anyway guys, please make sure you like this video You share it. Um, I'm gonna put another video up on screen so that you can continue to watch to learn to improve all that fun stuff Make sure you check out my Instagram where we post two different posts every single day to help you even more That'll be linked down below. I'll have a thing come across as well so you can see what the handle is and I will see you in the next video